welcome everyone welcome to another class in this class we are going to learn about the structure of viruses okay now virus in itself can exist in two forms which is complete and incomplete in incomplete form it can also in fact host but it is more fatal when it is in complete form that is in this complete form it is called virion okay now this virion contains capsid which is its protein part and nucleic acid of course dna and rna and it may contain or may not contain an envelope which is outer covering of this uh, nucleic acid and capsid this nucleic acid and capsid they together are called nucleocapsid and as i said this capsid is a protein part and this capsid is basically made up of smaller unit which are capsomere monomers okay and uh, let us talk about nucleic acid also i am not going to explain much but it contains dna it may contains dna or can contain rna as well and that too in single stranded or double stranded form same with rna single stranded and double stranded form okay now on the basis of structure this virus can be classified into three categories okay now this structure is of course that of capsid how caps capsid basically is arranged okay now first of all we will discuss about icosahedral okay now this icosahedral is basically this structure uh, i am not <laughs> that such good drawer but uh, just try to understand here okay you just imagine this this blue lines to be this kind of pyramidal structure okay pyramidal structure and this pyramidal structure has a cube and there is another pyramidal structure so this make it 20 20 equilateral triangles are can be found like 1 2 3 4 and if you count these all uh, into 3d structure form and they will show you 20 equilateral triangles okay and it will form 12 vertices of course you can count some vertices here like 1 2 3 4 four vertices of one triangle then second will again form four four here and four here will make total of 12 vertices uh, that is how icosahedral is formed okay now next come the helical symmetry in helical symmetry this black portion you are seeing this uh, i mean this uh, rod like structure or cylindrical structure is the capsid part okay <coughs> i'm sorry and uh, this capsid part of course can be rigid and flexible with genetic material inside it okay and this genetic material is usually linear not just dna it can be rna also okay now after this we will discuss about complex symmetry and I have taught you just this icosahedral and helical symmetry. Now the complex symmetry is that symmetry which uh, not even contain this helical and there is no icosahedral. Okay, uh, as I have shown these two figures here, uh, this first one is the structure of bacteriophage. Okay, now this bacteriophage as you can see this above structure, it resembles icosahedral and this below, I mean cylindrical part resemble helical structure but it is actually complexed okay and just like this this one is here it is uh, rabies yeah maybe rabies yeah rabies virus okay the so rabies virus has this bullet shaped structure bullet like a bullet of a gun okay then we will discuss about envelope now we have completed our genetic material and now genetic material and we have completed capsid also and now we'll discuss about envelope of course now this lipid and protein part when they co combine they will form nucleocapsid and this envelope this envelope covers this nucleocapsid okay now let me just show you here like suppose this is uh, our virus and this yellow highlighting i am i am doing here this fellow here is envelope okay envelope I'm sorry for writing this bad, but please <laughs> adjust with it. I'm really sorry. And envelope, okay, the envelope are mostly or more often seen in animal cases. Like if there is an animal virus, it can have envelope as compared to that of plant viruses because plant viruses do not need envelope. Why is that? It is because envelope itself is derived from host cell and they undergo some modification before integrating to virus okay so these are basically the structure you need to learn in this chapter and i hope you understand it if you have any query you can ask me and i will take my leave now thank you very much